Hey, if you've been having problems with your XF's reverse camera, the chances are the wiring loom in the trunk has become defective. And the reason it becomes defective is from opening and closing the trunk all the time and the cable keeps bending. The reverse camera actually uses a fiber optic cable, so you can't really repair it. Uh, the best thing to do is to replace it. You can get these cables from Jaguar for around 45 to 55 pounds, which is around 30 to 35 dollars. That's what I paid for this one actually, and I got this from a Jaguar dealer. And it's far easier to just replace it than repair it, as I'm going to show you guys now. I just want to show you guys the part number. It is C2Z19978. And that is it over there. So if you want one of these looms, that's the part number, you just give your dealer and you can replace this loom. Now I'm not entirely sure if the loom is the same on the older XX, the pre-facelift, because I'm having a black screen on my screen and it's just intermittently right now, it's not doing it all the time, but um, <laughs> I think it's inevitable that it's probably just going to stop working altogether. This is the DX number over there on the loom. We who have the facelift model, we get black screens and those who have the older models get blue screens. The first thing I want to do is actually take off this cover on the trunk. And in order to get that off, we just need to remove this cover over here. And it just has two little clips on either side that clip it in. Using a star screwdriver you can actually undo all these screws and when you undo them don't apply too much pressure. I'm just taking them out entirely. There are 11 of these little screws that you have to undo so it's quite a few. Now when you actually pull this, these little tabs are going to want to come out. So this is what they look like, that's what the screw actually goes into. And there we go. So here we see the cable coming out from inside the trunk and here's your big grey terminal and here is the camera's plug. Now this wire here is the one that's actually faulty, the fiber optic wire. So we've got to just get this tab in there and then we can pull the fiber optic cable out. There we go. You can see there's a little tab over there where this plug actually grabs onto it. Now on the grey one you just need to release this lever, pull it out. You just press down on that tab over there, that, that darkish one, and you can pull it out. So let's just point out, you know, this job is so easy. It's very, very easy to do. We're just going to remove this grommet now and you can just pull with your fingers to get it loose like that and you can see this grommet actually has an arrow on it and it's showing up so you must make sure that that is the way you install it when you install the new one and we just pull it out like that so we have freed the cable what i'm going to do is i'm just going to free it um, inside the trunk now So I'm just going to undo those. I've got these two undone now as well. And just having a look at how these are actually folded, just take note of that, of how they folded when you undo them, because otherwise you won't know how they should actually be bent when you plug them into your plugs over here. Now we can take this cable out and keep in mind there's a clip over here and if you look at your new loom the clip is actually there as well. So that holds it on the trunk 
and you just got to pull that away. It's not going to come out easily, but yeah, I think we got it out. And I'm going to pull it through here now. And we can pull it out from here. What we have to do is we have to feed this piece through here. That's going to go down there. And there's our arrow, which shows up. I just want to show you the arrow, by the way. There's the arrow over there. It sits right there. And that shows you it must be facing up. So we're going to get this in here. And I just want to twist this thing around. <laughs> Here we go. Arrow facing up. And I'm just going to get this grommet back in its place. You know, I've, I've messed around with these grommets so many times in the past that it really hasn't been a problem for me. It's not a problem to get it back in. And then we have to get this cable through here. So I'm just going to let the fiber optic cable guide me. Get that in there. Feed that through. And there we go. Now this grommet also has an arrow on it and it must face up as well. So I'm just going to get the grommet in and I know that's in, that's done. And then we can get our grey plug plugged in over here and push that red tab back in so it's locked and it can never come out. And then we just get our fibre optic cable lined up and there we go. Well, my license plate lights are working, tail lights are working, so very happy with the results. So now we can get back to putting our cover back on. And the last thing we've got to do is just put our cover back on. Now I'm just going to try and get this back in under the trunk rubber where it belongs. So as you can see, the job is easy peasy. With just two screwdrivers, anyone can remove this loom and um, get your camera working again. Now, if you have had issues with your license plate lights not working or your taillights not working properly, this is probably the culprit. And unfortunately, when the fiber optic cable breaks, it doesn't throw any warnings. You just get a black screen or a blue screen. Now, like I pointed out, I don't know if the older XF actually uses the exact same cable. It's something that you just need to make sure of with your Jaguar dealer. Give them the VIN of your car and then um, they can actually check if this part number does fit your car. But if you're getting a blue screen on your pre-facelift or you're getting a black screen on your facelift model, this definitely is the culprit. So I hope this video has helped you guys. Stay tuned for the next video. And if you haven't yet, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks, cheers.